Last time on Sonic Universe. Dr. Eggman's latest and greatest refinery slash theme park slash death trap was nearly complete until somebody took it over. The Mad Doctor and Metal Sonic went to investigate this mysterious threat, only to be caught off guard, overwhelmed, and trounced by the power of the Nogus twins and their Gaia energy-powered henchmen, the Witch Carters. With Metal Sonic seemingly falling in the line of duty, Dr. Eggman must call in the reserves. He's going to need all of his Egg Bosses. Dark Castle, many adventures ago. <laughs> Revenge is sweet. You'd pay for ruining my plans to rule the kingdom of Acorn, boy. Big talk, Wally. Just you wait till I'm out of here. And you'll rue the day you double-crossed me, Doctor. Let's not be hasty, old pal. We can work out a deal. A deal? Our deal was I would rule the islands, and you would just mine them. Instead, you cast me into the special zone. Let bygones be bygones? Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. Shame on you. Huh? We've got a problem. That little fox boy took down all of my witch carters and is heading right for the castle. Woo! Go Tails! Pathetic. Your collection of degenerates should be able to handle a mere child. Spare me the lecture, Wally. Now, come help me deal with him. Why? He's your problem. It's our castle. There's nothing mere about Tails. They'll find that out the same way I did. The hard way. Now help me find a way out of these crystals before the Nogus twins come back. The present. Boss, boss, nap time's over. Before the Nogus twins. So good of you all to come. Not that you had a choice. <laughs> it's him! I'll get right to the point. My plans to harvest the dark guy energy were nearly complete until my old rivals, the Nogus twins, took over the refinery. They repelled my initial investigation and captured Metal Sonic. My bandits are easy prey to the crystal powers. That's why I need you, my cybernetic supporters, to help me invade my own territory and take it back. This is why you summoned me? To be a lowly foot soldier? <laughs> if these Nogus twins ousted you, perhaps they're the kind of leaders we should be following. You watch your tone! This is Lord Eggman you're talking to! We're to serve his every whim and like it! Yeesh. <laughs> Don't waste your batteries, TB. I figured some of these ingrates would need a reminder. Oh, he touched me! <laughs> Which is why I've prepared a little demonstration. This is... do you even have a name? Whatever, I'm calling you Tassel Boy. Tassel Boy here was the foreman of a small operation I had working secretly in Metropolis Zone. On his watch, a freedom fighter spy entered his ranks and stole a shield generator I'd been developing. So I activated the failsafe that I placed in all your cybernetics. He's completely locked up. Aware, but paralyzed. And he'll stay that way until I think he's learned his lesson. In 50 years or so, <laughs> go file him away with the rest of them. They don't take up much room in their tiny pitch black holding slots. Now then, any other objections to the mission? I think so. 
Sir, if Dark Gaia energy is involved, won't we run the risk of monsters as well as the twins' forces? Or could they even be used to our advantage? First intelligent question all day! No, the spire at the center of it all is drawing in all the energy. There's not enough ambient energy for even a tiny monster to form. It's one less thing for us to worry about. Which is fine, because we have plenty to deal with as it is. In addition to the Nogus twins, there are their personal goons, the Witch Carters. They've also taken command of the Bandit Horde and local defenses there. So, the plan is to divide and conquer. I'll be splitting you into teams of two. You'll each be striking key targets, undermining the twin support so that when we move on to the final assault, they'll be completely overwhelmed, humiliated, crushed! Ha <laughs> ha! Team one is Tundra and Akrut. You'll- What? I know there's bad blood between you, but you serve me. So personal vendettas are null and void. Think of this as a team building experience. Anyway, the witch carters seem to be getting a power boost from my harvested energy. You'll shut down the summoning spire temporarily to cut them off. Funny place the tides have brought us, isn't it? Once you thought your tribe could conquer mine, and now here we are, comrades. <laughs> I do miss those days sometimes. The roar of battle, the crack of metal and bone. Good, honest conquest. All the warriors who followed you having fallen, Staining the ice. Your warriors fell too! True, but then you could never get past them to me, could you? <laughs> Clove and Thunderbolt, you're both quick. You're team two. You'll access the defensive systems and switch them off. You're going to have to leave that. Never! Lord Eggman gifted me with this glorious armor! I won't get this back to me leave it behind! Which would be worse, losing one of his many machines or failing his mission? <laughs> I will make this work! Nethys and Ma, you're my newest recruits. You'll be team three. You'll shut down the command signal to the Bandics. With that gone, the Nogus twins will have to direct them individually, dividing their focus. Quite the adventure, isn't it? I never expected to be so hands-on when helping the Doctor save the world. Save? I thought it was clear he was out to conquer it. Sometimes we need to be saved from ourselves. The Doctor seems to be the only one bold enough to make the hard choices and take radical actions. Don't you agree? You volunteered to serve, after all. You're... not wrong. Sacrifices must be made for the greater good. Conquering Storm! You and Mordred are my best infiltrators! Your team four! Find the Witch Carters and take them out! Back! I shouldn't be here! Direct combat is not my forte! No. You only slink onto a throne after selling your homeland to Eggman. Safe and honor us. There hasn't been a Sylvian king in a hundred years, and the bloodline of the six noble houses is as thin as dishwater. What would you have me do? Surrender it to the acorns? Dredge up some lesser family like the Dicoulettes and give it to them? No. Do not give anyone anything. No bartering. No bargaining. How in the world did you take command of anything? I gathered the strongest. Then we took what we wanted. I see them. This way. Cuckoo and Abyss, you go together because... Uh, you both have beaks! <laughs> That's good enough for Team 5! 
You're taking out the backup generator to the refinery, so everyone else's mission isn't a total waste of time. So, you're, like, royalty or something? The Cuckoo Line is an old and proud family. We've been ruling the sky since the fall of Babylon. I am the 15th son of the noble lineage. Yippee for you. I'm a pirate. I steal stuff. You're no better than those filthy Babylon rogues. <laughs> like I care what you think. I signed on with Eggman, got all the best toys, and now I own the Southern Hemisphere. I got a dozen ships in my armada. You've got... what? One? The Battle Fortress is worth more than your entire fleet. Its power cannot be matched in all of the skies. <laughs> Don't bust a giblet, Grandpa. All the teams are away, boss. Except yours, of course. Just putting the finishing touches on my trump card. Oh, <laughs> Wally won't know what hit him. Your countermeasure is charged and ready to go. That said, you've only got enough power to run it once and only for five minutes. Plenty of time to beat the ugly off that troll. There won't be much left after that. <laughs> Any reason I get the um, <clears throat> honor of riding with you, boss? We're team six because I had an odd number of minions. I really ought to fix that after this. At the energy collector. But don't misunderstand me. I think you'd make a great subordinate to Eggman. After all, a leader who can't control his own son? Shameful. Who's powerless to save his own wife? Pathetic. A lackey gets more understanding. I will break you in half! Ah. You've struck your fellow egg boss. <laughs> You've jeopardized the mission. For the good of the Empire, I must put you down now. Huh. Hold on a second! We wasted enough time with you struggling in that doorway. I said wait! Why? I've been thinking! Since the meeting, since that door, serving Lord Eggman is an honor and a pleasure. <laughs> I will not abide ingrates or insubordinates within his ranks. So explain yourself before I... <laughs> <laughs> you do not get to judge my sister. <laughs> I see the broadcasting tower. I'll see if I can disable it from here. Wait there. Nethys, six o'clock high. <laughs> gotcha. <sighs> rocky, Rocky, Bexy's forties. Waiting around should be breaking something. Wasting my time. <laughs> the guard is down. No discipline at all. Who cares? It makes it easier for us. We'll hold position until Team One is done. Then I can sneak up there, weaken them with my vertigo inducers, and you. I will end this now! No, 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 wait! Hmm? Wakey, wakey! Bones to breaky. Incoming! Ah! Whoa! What? What dares? The doc said there wouldn't be any monsters. So why are there monsters? Do you fight as well as you steal, little pirate? I was a terror of the deep long before Eggman showed up, old man. Pedal to the metal, Axel! I timed this perfectly so we'll hit the Nogus twins right when they lose control! What in the... No! No! 
Has Eggman's assault ended before it even began? Will the Egg Bosses survive the traps, enemies, and each other? Things reach a fever pitch next time in Sonic Universe.